for some celebrity dish. And we got a twofer today. We've we got, got of course, our friend Vernon Davis and Val Greenberg joining us this morning. Hello, hello. There Vernon, they are. you want to stick around? The double whammy. Honey. <laughs> yeah, All fabulous. Yeah, to see you. All right. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. Okay. Yes, indeed. So, how y'all feeling? How you feeling? I feel good. I mean, I'm sitting between three incredible people right here, so I don't want to get done any better. Brennan, it's always good to see you. Good to see you as well. All right, y'all ready to hop in? Yeah, let's dig in. Snoop Dogg providing some clarity after admitting he's going smokeless. According to the notorious <laughs> smoker, it is not <laughs> what you think it is. Producer Chris is standing by with details on this. So it is absolutely nothing like what most folks expected. Listen, I'm going to just say we did not fall for it entirely. No, we it was reported the on switch. it. We reported on it, but we were a little bit cynical. Now I will say he is a he is a, a noted marijuana enthusiast. Let's just say that, okay? So he made a ton of headlines. We're talking about Snoop Dogg when he said earlier or late last week, I should say, that he was giving up the smoke. He stuck to that all weekend long. He posted about it on Instagram. He took the stage. He didn't smoke. More than four million people like the post where he asked to respect his privacy and that he was giving it up. But as it turns out, like we thought, there was something else going on. And yesterday we finally found out what it was. Take a look. I have an announcement. I'm giving up smoke. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Snoop, smoke is kind of your whole thing. But I'm done with it. Done with the coughing and my clothes smelling all sticky icky. I'm going smokeless. Solo stove fixed fire. They took out the smoke. Clever. <laughs> wow. So you saw it right there. It was an ad for the solo stove. And I have to give credit where credit is due. That is one of the greatest yes. advertisements of all time. It took nothing more than a single Instagram post. There yeah. were other rappers, Meek Mill, they all <laughs> said they were going to follow in his footsteps yeah. and give up the smoke. And mm -hmm. then they dropped this ad. Whoever came up with this idea deserves a raise, a promotion to be running the company. Absolutely. That's yeah, true. brilliant. What did you guys, did you fall for it first off? Val, I'll start with you. I did, but let me just say, having a background in PR, this is the best headline of all time. Oh, yeah. They really baited us and drew us in. I mean, gin and juice was my first cassette yeah. tape. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what about you, Vernon? Did you fall for it? I definitely fell for it. Really? Yeah, I thought it was, I was like, wow, Snoop Dogg's going smokeless? This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, for me, the giveaway was the way he said it, giving up the smoke. Giving up the smoke. I was like, yeah. yeah I don't think there was, it was yeah. very encrypted. But I will say that these, uh, these these stoves that we see here are actually really cool. They're going to fly yeah, off they the are. shelves. Uh, they're going to fly <laughs> off the shelves. They're about $400 a piece, give or take, but uh, really cool. It does help. And, and seriously, like sometimes you can have brilliant marketing, but the product itself isn't very good. The product is actually This like is actually said, really good. I kind of cool. want so Listen, it's like there a could be five heaven. other of the exact same thing, but the only one that's going to stay oh, in my yeah. head now, though, is that solo stove. So. <laughs> yeah. To get Snoop to say he's going smokeless, yeah. that in and of itself, <laughs> we all deserve to go buy one of these. That yeah, was great. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, let's talk about Diddy and Cassie now. We've been reporting on this for a couple days as well. So it all started last week. Cassie made major headlines after the R&B singer filed a lawsuit accusing the music mogul of rape, physical abuse, and sex trafficking during their relationship. In her complaint, Cassie also mentioned that Diddy held rapper Wale, DMV's own Wale, over a balcony, Suge Knight style. So that was the rumor. That was the report that came out. We know they eventually settled that lawsuit. Now Wale is speaking out, though, and this comes after rapper turned YouTuber Aunt Glizzy claimed to have witnessed that incident. However, Wale's team is denying the incident ever took place. He even stated he's never even met Cassie and that the media is spreading fake news for clicks. Guys, what do you make of this what? one? Hmm. Did y'all oh, did y'all hear man. about this or do you well, even believe it? Here's the thing. I remember when Cassie and Diddy were hanging out when she was of the very earlier stages in her life. Yeah. Oh. And they seem to be like really in it. So now all of these accusations and potential legal mm -hmm. things that can take place. I mean, we've got to tiptoe with what we say because yeah. Listen, yeah. Diddy is an icon, but these accusations were real and mm -hmm. that lawsuit got settled fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like when you're when you're iconic, when you're a star, if something comes out, they're going to keep on just poking at you and trying mm -hmm. to pull out other things. And I, I think everyone's just talking. Some mm -hmm. of it may be true, but yeah. a lot of it's probably just 
you know, hear his conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And if Wally's team is saying it didn't happen, well, there you go, straight from the horse's mouth. So that's what they want us to, to go with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, if you got Glizzy, Glizzy also a, a very famous uh, rapper, uh, to say that he saw this and witnessed this, of course Wally's going to say, no, it didn't happen. Because yeah. for you, I mean, as a man, knowing that another man hung you over a balcony and it gets to the media, that can be That's the first thing really I thought daring. of. I, I think also coming on the heels of in those, uh, in that lawsuit, Cassie mentioning Kid Cudi's car was blown right, up right, and right. Kid Cudi's people confirming it. On the heels of that, people were more likely to believe these stories about Wale. And I, I'm with you. I don't think... <laughs> It benefits him. Yeah. Not at all. He might not think it benefits <laughs> him if he says it's true. So, yeah. uh, I I will say I suspect more stories are going to come out about about Diddy because wow. I know a lot of people have been saying you know long time coming for these things to come out whether they're true or not yeah. or for these things to come out. All right, guys, let's move from hip hop drama to some real housewives drama because the big question a lot of fans have now is whether Nene is coming back to Bravo. So fans got excited after discovering the network is once again following the former Real Housewife of Atlanta. Many speculate this means she could be making a return to the series. So far, though, there has been no confirmation other than the follow, but some fans are saying never say never and keeping their fingers crossed. Do you guys think something as simple as an Instagram follow from a network to one of their former stars is enough? to set off those speculations? Oh. Nini's got it all. So Nini is great television. I think the network would be so smart to give her her own show. Yeah. She could hold her own. I think she can, too. I mean, I'm not a big Housewives fan. <laughs> no, Vernon. I'm watching football and movies that you I mean, in, right? I know about her. I know enough about her. She's everywhere. She's well, everywhere. And that says, right, that yeah. says a lot. If, if you don't even, if you're not a fan of the franchise and you know about Nene, yeah. it yeah. says a lot about how, how successful she was there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, she's a star that sticks out amongst a yeah. lot of the stars in this case. Uh, I, I will say this, that, you know, having Nene back on TV is going to make people really, really happy. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that trying to re reinstall Housewives after just kind of going off the, but some the would rail say end is it, just tough. It, it fell off because Nene left. Yeah. I will Very say, however, I don't know if maybe either she better get a, a big check, right? Or I, I wonder if she's if she should have her own thing. I mean, right. I'm not saying I would necessarily watch, but what I'm saying is she's a big enough personality that I wonder mm -hmm. if she's too big to be on Real Housewives of Potomac. Uh, I don't know, but I do think she's the winner here. Yeah, <laughs> she clearly folks want her back. Yeah, I was going to agree with both of your point to the fact that it would be smart on Bravo's yes. part to reestablish that relationship. Guys, let's wrap but, but wait, things up. Wait, wait, Chris, up. Did, did, we, did, did they settle things, her and uh, Nene? And, 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 so uh, I remember back at BravoCon, and don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that Andy Cohen said at one point that Nene had asked him to keep her name out of his mouth. Okay. So oh. I did not think things were on the best terms still. Okay. Got All right. it. All right. All right. We'll Thanks have to wait up. and see how it plays out. Like I said, guys, let's wrap things up with Harry Styles. We teased that he may be a little bit of a mama's boy because his mother actually came to his defense on social media, and this all happened has to do with his new haircut. So take a look at this picture and the post. His mother clapped back at social media. Users have been criticizing her son's newly shaved head. She posted on Instagram saying, quote, when you consider that Harry has a legacy of kindness and inclusion, has always made every effort to make everyone feel seen and appreciated for exactly who they are, there's an irony in the negativity he's been shown for having a haircut. Sorry, but I don't get it, end quote. And I really think she's got a point because Harry has been so, so welcoming, open arms to yeah. all of his fans. Yeah. I think oh, yeah. that was beautifully written by his mother. It clearly came from the heart, and mm -hmm. she wants to protect his son. She's a mama bear. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, moms, are, that's what moms are there for. Yeah. Protect their I, kids. Yeah. And I'm surprised more moms don't come out. Listen, I mean, yeah. it, it's got to be I so hard. I clap it up for her. That's really tremendous, yeah. actually. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. tactful. Very tactful there. All right.